Um, good morning, Camelo. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Pro retail providers, um, they provide huge discount. For instance, a normal price of a certain item costs 50 rand and might be raised to 80 rand and then reduced to 60 rand on Black Friday. They do this to make the discount look bigger than they actually are. Or whereby, for example, they will find deals whereby they say you can get uh, three items for the price of two. But when you actually check how much each um, item costs, you'd find yourself you're not really saving much on that day. But we're all aware that Black Friday is famous for its deals mm -hmm. that don't last, which make consumers feel that they need to buy something quickly, and which has resulted to many consumers buying impulsively. Yeah, and I was about to say that, I mean, we've seen with Black Friday how everybody rushes there to get the best deal. But in essence, how does Black Friday deals, as you've mentioned, and some of the marketing tactics actually contribute to us buying impulsively and, and, and contributing to our impulsive buying behaviors? Um, according to Shopify research shows that while shoppers aim to uh, snag bargains, they often end up buying items impulsively lured by the idea of discounts rather than the actual need or value of the product. And then also in the recent survey, more than half, which is 52% uh, of respondents said that they prefer taking a discount over paying the regular price even when they did not actually plan for it. Mm. Also, with this being said, Samantha, what are also the other potential pitfalls associated with using one's credit card for Black Friday purchases? Um, it is important for consumers to be aware that taking out credit to make a purchase is not always a good idea. As many consumers are not aware of the hidden fees, interest associated with the credit card. 